just such a for me it's just such a beautiful sport because jiu-jitsu specifically but but um but mixed martial arts as well i've never trained in mixed martial arts but this is what i speak more about jiu-jitsu uh it's uh-huh. a beautiful sport i was watching I, i've trained today so every saturday we have something called an open mat which is there's no class on but you just go and and you uh you fight you spar and i was watching one of the higher belts guy in our in our uh in, in my group and he's a he's a black belt we call him the, the mat enforcer because he's if somebody comes to train with us He's the guy that's like, oh, if, if there's a big guy that comes to train, he's from a different gym. You're like, oh, just give him to give him to the mat enforcer first because he needs to see where the, what the what the what, what the kind of pecking order is. You know what I mean? Because a big guy comes into the gym, a lot of the time they feel like they've got something to prove. So you're like, okay, give him the mat enforcer first, and then and then everybody. But anyway, so I was yeah. I was in this guy earlier on, and the way that he uh, he moves which sounds kind of crazy to speak about it, but the way that he moves, there's two guys fighting. The way that that he kind of like will, will move his body to kind of keep total control of the person that he's sparring just shows like what an effective martial art it is because it's it's beautiful it's almost like a dance the way he moves it's so it's so technical but it's also you have that element of dancing where you're uh you're kind of free to do whatever you want lots of things you could turn this way you could turn that way and it's exactly the same as jiu-jitsu and the difference is with jiu-jitsu your your dancing partner they're, they're dancing against you. They're not dancing with you. You know, I mean, they're dancing against you, which makes it even more beautiful when you see something that is that is that uh, striking, and you see some a uh, move or something with such like um, fluidity. Fluidity, I think, is, is the word. Maybe, maybe not. But anyway, you, you get, it, is, get, it is. I think so. Yeah. yeah, You get the idea, and it's it, it's to me, it's like an it's an it's an amazing sport, and I I uh, I, I really do love it. Yeah. <laughs> and you found it just because of what I've seen on your on your on your content. You kind of found it or decided it at least to try it on in Spain, right? You prior in in Australia by any chance or or you didn't? No, so in Australia, so um, it's, I, I I had a motorbike accident when I was at the start of my time in Australia. So I was in Vietnam actually, and I had a motorbike accident, and I and I really hurt my. I ended up having a bad crash in in, in Vietnam, and I really destroyed one of my knees. So while I was in Australia, yeah. So while I was in Australia, and as I say, they're really into the fights over there. They're really into the UFC. So every Sunday, with the time difference, they get up early and they go. They go to the pub all day, drink, and watch the fights. Yep. So I got into that culture a lot, and I, I loved it. And I really got into the stories, as you were saying, the storyline that was around the time that um, Daniel Cormier and John Jones were fighting. It was around the time that uh, Conor McGregor was on his like infamous rise. It was just a great time for the, for the sport. Uh, it's when it's when the sport gained a lot of fans as well, and I always thought it was always the jujitsu element that I liked more because although I love I love mixed martial arts, watching it, I don't really want to be uh, receiving too many hits to the head. <laughs> then jujitsu is a great way to fight someone. You can you can put your full force in, but you know at the end of the day, if they tap you or you tap them, that's all it takes to to stop the fight. And that's why as well, it's it's the best martial art in my opinion because. You can go full force. You can go one hundred percent, and you know, and you've got full trust in the person that you're you're, you're sparring with that you can tap, and uh, and and it, it's all over at that point. You see, what I mean, you, you've got that trust, and and I, I'm not sure if you if you saw. I know that you did your research and uh, about about my my uh, Instagram page before coming in. I've made a video about jujitsu a couple of weeks back, uh, and I talk about how I think it's and this and this is this is kind of sums up my my opinion on jujitsu. I think it's great because it is so primal, um, yet it's something very, very modern in a sense as well. And it's just something so it's something so raw and animalistic. But then again, it's also so technical. And I think it's just something humans have been fighting since mm-hmm. the dawn of man. And it's something that we don't really have in our lives anymore. But it's something that when I've left jiu-jitsu, I feel so at peace. I feel happier. But obviously, you're exercising, so the endorphins are going off. But it's something deeper than that. It's almost like a meditative state. Uh, and I think it's a, it's it's an incredible sport for that. And then obviously you have all the other benefits of like you've got your team. It's very sociable, all that sort of stuff too. But there's just there's a very animalistic, primal uh, element of it, which I think other, a lot of other sports don't don't offer. 